This short video will help explain why pavement experts recommend and use APT for performance validation of pavement materials. With the rising cost of materials and need to improve pavement reliability, developing dependable engineering design methodologies and validation of those methodologies is significant. This video will outline what APT is, how APT eliminates significant variabilities found in many other types of testing, and why APT is considered to be some of the highest quality pavement performance testing available. APT stands for Accelerated Pavement Testing. This method of evaluating pavement materials has been growing, mainly due to the accuracy and ability of this testing to provide results in a short amount of time. It is the gold standard for evaluating potential materials and designs. When testing is done properly, it is more accurate and provides better data than a typical test section or field trial. APT is recommended by pavement design experts to evaluate pavement designs and construction materials. To properly evaluate a design and how materials will perform over time, loading conditions and traffic volume need to be applied for a reasonable duration. Additionally, factors that influence performance such as climate, subgrade conditions, materials used, loading conditions and pattern, and other factors need to be monitored and accounted for. APT is highly controlled, unlike most field testing, which can contain significant variability and is hard to decipher and measure. Field testing usually contains significant variability, such as in the subgrade conditions, construction methods used, and materials used. Moisture conditions can also produce variability if not accounted for correctly. There may be variances in temperature due to wind, the grade of the road, and other factors. Actual wheel loadings and positioning of the wheel loadings can be very difficult to track. The environment is also not as conducive to research needs, such as FWD testing at predicted intervals, or trenching to observe distress within the individual pavement layers. The more variability there is in a section, the more unreliable the results will be. Values used may provide a designer with a false sense of security. APT allows for construction and testing to be performed in a more controlled manner, providing pavement designers with more accurate and precise data. Guidelines for performing APT performance validation have been established. These guidelines are outlined by the National Cooperative Highway Research Program, or NCHRP, in two reports, NCHRP Synthesis 325 and NCHRP Report 512. These guidelines allow researchers to isolate the benefits of a single component, such as a triac stabilized aggregate layer, within a pavement structure. Variables are reduced or eliminated so that the results are accurate and reproducible. Facilities such as the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Engineering Research and Development Center have the expertise and equipment to properly perform accelerated pavement testing. The Corps of Engineers APT facility is located in Vicksburg, Mississippi. This testing facility conducts research for military and civil works projects and is one of the premier engineering and research testing facilities in the world. It is home to one of the largest heavy vehicle simulators, which can simulate varying loadings and wander patterns. Critically important to construction of a pavement section is the subgrade preparation. Significant cost is tied up in this effort in order to reduce variability. Subgrade soils used are characterized based on their gradation, classification, fines content, and other properties. Soils are then prepared prior to placement. Test sections are located in covered areas, protected from moisture, and the sections where the soils are to be placed are lined to ensure moisture conditions are consistent. Soils are then placed and the installation is monitored and conditioning performed as needed. Once the subgrade soils are placed, conditioned, and final graded, instrumentation is installed. Tensar Triax Geogrid and Base Placement are next. These materials are characterized as well. Gradation, fines, moisture density, shear strength, and other properties are defined. Tensar geogrid is then rolled out over the subgrade and base rock is installed on top of the geogrid. Equipment used to place the base rock is appropriately sized as to not shear the subgrade soils. Upon completion of the base rock placement, additional instrumentation is installed. The geometry and the thickness requirements are carefully monitored. The section is now ready for paving. The hot mix asphalt is also characterized. Several data elements are looked at, including mixed design method, binders used, aggregate gradations and texture, additives, mixed stiffness and other properties. Prior to placement of the asphalt, asphalt strain gauges are installed to measure strains at the bottom of the asphalt layer. 
The asphalt is then placed and compacted. Asphalt thicknesses and geometry are measured, and grinding of the surface is performed if needed to ensure thicknesses are as designed. Typical instrumentation utilized to monitor conditions and pavement performance include pore pressure and temperature sensors, moisture sensors, geogrid strain gauges, single depth deflectometers, pressure cells, and asphalt strain gauges. Upon completion of the instrumented test section, the traffic simulator is positioned and the final assembly is performed. This includes placement of the sidewalls and climate control equipment. Traffic loading is then applied and monitored within the simulator. The loading method, loading type and magnitude, tire pressure, contact shape, load configuration and frequency and speed are recorded. Tolerance levels are measured and checked to ensure that they meet set standards. Environmental and climatic data elements are also monitored. These include ambient air temperature, temperature at the pavement surface, and humidity. Pavement responses such as the deflection, strain, stresses, pore pressures, and other data are recorded. Rutting is also measured. Rutting is a distinct indicator of pavement performance. Part of the testing process includes monitoring the pavement stiffness over time. This testing is performed through FWD testing at multiple points in the section. To properly measure benefits on modulus retention of a tensile stabilized section, the FWD testing is repeated at these same points as the trafficking progresses. The data from FWD is evaluated in terms of impulse stiffness modulus. This reading helps to identify if a pavement is stress softening or stress hardening. Results of these tests are then analyzed by pavement design experts to examine performance and validate design assumptions. Several full-scale APT performance validation studies have been carried out on tensor triax geogrids to verify our design models. APT is critical to accurately verifying performance, providing owners and designers with accurate and reliable designs.